This is KFDI Country. Country, 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 country. Hi, it's JJ Hayes for the Hayes Wire. Super excited for my guest today because this is kind of a first for Wichita. The Marvel Universe is in Wichita tonight through the weekend. We'll go over ticket information and all of that, but i got to get to my guest here this morning and say hello to Ramon Dickinson. How are you, Ramon? Doing great. How are you? I'm excellent. Man, first of all, welcome to Wichita. Your first time in Wichita? First time in Wichita. Okay, yes. you'll love it here for many reasons. Uh, I know you're a parkour enthusiast. Probably some pretty good uh, stuff downtown oh, yeah. to mess around oh, on. Yeah. All right, so let's let's get right to it. You're, you're, you're into dance and football and parkour, and uh, you're a fitness instructor. You've got some YouTube stuff going on. Um, how did the Marvel Universe stuff come about? Well, um, a couple years ago, I, I decided to move out to Los Angeles, and uh, while I was out there, they had auditions that came through, and they, they were looking guy, looking for guys with my skill set. And you have a skill set, my friend. Have what they were looking for, and here we are. That, that's good. Um, played football at Independence College. I did, which is like two hours from, away from here. Yeah, which yeah. Is crazy. Right on. What, what was it? Um, I played cornerback okay. and uh, some special teams, but uh, mainly kick return. I was like my specialty. So you're fast. Yeah. Yeah, right on. Yeah. You think you can keep up with me? <laughs> Let's go race right now. It's only one to find out. All right. So this is this is a huge show. The Interest Bank Arena is going to be blown up with uh, over 25 Marvel characters, heroes, and villains. Yes, yes. Uh, you play the Green Goblin. All right. So uh, let's let's talk about uh, the Green Goblin. This is this is the Web Slinger's favorite nemesis, and everyone loves the Web Slingers. How do you feel about uh, playing the Green Goblin? Well, Spider Man is my favorite superhero. Okay. And to be fighting Spider-Man every night is phenomenal. I love just being able to punch him in the face and just <laughs> <laughs> be sinister. And like to be face to face with this guy is, is mind blowing. It's like it's really a dream, you know. And right. It seems like a dream at times. Like every night, you got to be like it's a big kid kind of thing for you, right? Yeah. 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 Spidey probably gets his licks in a couple times too, right? He does. He actually, you know, the good guys always yeah. figure out a way to come around. And I understand. Win. But it's close. This yeah. all revolves around some sort of uh, some sort of cube, and the and the and the fate of the the, the planet lies in the balance. And uh, cosmic cube fractal. Loki and the goons are trying to take over the entire world, so the um, the Avengers have to team up together and gather all these pieces of the the fractal so they can stop them from destroying the world. Man, I'm super excited. Now, uh, with all of your skill set, uh, what do you rely on most? Would you say when you're the Green Goblin? I mean, is it is it uh, is it your football experience? Is it your parkour? What would you say you rely on the most? Um, it's a combination of everything. Like, there's a certain awareness that goes to playing the role because it take the, the fight takes place on this 25 30 foot Statue of wow. Liberty. Wow. And um, you have to make sure you're really on point with your balance and aware of what's around you because if you're not, you can easily fall off that thing and you don't want to fall 30 feet. Okay, let's let's talk about that. I mean, I'm sure as as physically demanding as this is. Um, have there been some scary moments during the show? Um, not For really, you? Not scary moments that I was, my life was threatened. Okay. But like when I was first getting into the show, it was, was kind of nerve wracking. Sure. Just getting used to the lighting and the costume and all the effects that were happening at, at the same time. Yeah. So, all right. That so, kind of thing. Gotcha. Now, uh, you're a sports fan. Uh, football. Who's your favorite football team? Carolina Panthers. Carolina Panthers. <laughs> now, you're, you're a Toronto guy. I figured you'd say the Argonauts. No. No? no you're no, not no. into the great I company? Like the, I, I do like the Argonauts, but. Okay. NFL wise. All right, Cam Newton. He's the he's the stuff. Carolina Panthers. Okay, Carolina. They're gonna they're gonna get back at it this year. I think so. Right. I think they have a, a really good chance. You know. Okay. So you, young well, guys. Yeah, absolutely. Good team. All right. A lot of shows. Uh, a lot of travel. You got this whole travel thing down pat. But let's talk about maybe of all the cities you've visited for for the Marvel Universe show. Um, on your own time, is there a place on the planet you haven't visited you'd love to go to? Um. Australia. Yeah, you and me both. That's a long flight, though. Down dude. under. Down under. All right. So, uh, for the big kids, for the little kids, we're going to come out to Interest Bank Arena this weekend for the Marvel Universe show. Um, you know, what can they expect? What What's their big takeaway going to be at the end of the night? Well, by the end of the show, they're probably going to feel like running and throwing some webs and right on. Like feeling like action, creating some kind of action sequence. They're just going to be inspired because, like, just the stuff that's happening in the show, all the special effects, the explosions. You know, all the superheroes coming together. It's just like Avengers in your face. Yeah, love it. Uh, of yeah. course, you got uh, the movie hitting theaters later with, uh, with yeah. Captain America. Uh, and uh, there are plenty more Marvel movies coming. There's a new Spider-Man movie that got announced. Um, but let's uh, let's talk about, you were talking about inspired, kids feeling inspired. I mean, if there's kids out there who leave this show after watching uh, you and the rest of the, the heroes and villains, um, and they want to do what you do, what would be your like first bit of advice to, to anyone who came up to you and said, hey, you know, how do I get into it? I'd say first start training yourself. You know, getting your body right, being able to, uh, you know, pick up some kind of movement skill mm -hmm. that, where you can um, be able to take falls and, and take hits because there's a lot of stunts in the show. Sure. You're, you you got to be able to take care of your body, you know, understand how 
the, your, your body works, the mechanics, yeah. and then just start looking at places where you can go where these kind of places are having auditions. You know, the, the company always has auditions in different states. Right so when you feel like you have your, that skill set, when, you, when you're ready, an audition. when you got your stuff together, yeah. all right, show I up. I mean, there's a chance that you know, it's possible for anybody. Okay, so you talk about you know, being in, in, in great physical condition, um, and I'm sure you've got a pretty strict diet, you work out a lot. Let's, let's talk amongst boys now. What's your go-to cheat food? I mean, for me, you know, it's ice cream. What cheat food? Cheat food. I'm what? a pizza kind of guy. You like pizza? Pizza is what my go-to. What do you like on pizza? I like chicken, pineapple, and green peppers. Right on. <laughs> All right. So very good. Uh, so this is the Marvel Universe uh, happening at uh, Interest Bank Arena. It's the live tour. Let's go over all the ticket information. You guys are in town tonight, the 7 o'clock show. Yes. Through Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, and the first show is tonight at 7 o'clock. Now, from what I understand, there's a special $15 ticket involved with tonight's opening show. Tickets outside of that start at $22. And there's a show Friday, tomorrow at 7. Saturday, a couple, uh, three shows, 11, 3, and 7. And then Sunday, a couple shows at one and five. You are going to be busy. Right. Yep. You going to get me sleep? I will. I will. You going to get a chance For to sure. see uh, see the city a little bit? I had a chance all week. From right Monday, on. Okay. Monday. Yeah, we've been here since Monday and uh, been exploring around and checking it out. All right. Have you uh, found a favorite favorite spot yet? Um, I mean, a favorite restaurant. I mean, down by the river there, you got the Keeper of the Plains. That statue is always a good. Went to um, this cool place. Oh, Old Town. Old Town. Old Town, yeah. Yeah. Love Old Town. Old cobblestones. Okay. And, statues and stuff right on cool. Ramon listen have a great show uh, I know you'll put on a, an amazing performance you and the rest of the cast for these uh, big kids and little kids who just love their superheroes love the Marvel Universe I appreciate you stopping by today it's gonna be a pretty awesome time at Interest yes. Bank Arena thanks a lot thank you